What's going on guys? I hope you're doing well. I uh, hope you're able to get out and catch some fish and if not I hope you're like me getting ready to go catch some here soon. Uh, I wanted to share some some new jig trailers with you today that uh, is from the JDM market and yes they are pork. I'm excited to get these to, to show to you. I've actually had a couple jars uh, but I wanted to wait and get a couple other sizes so I can show you exactly what we're looking at uh, as far as uh, what they look like, feel like, and where I think that uh, they'll be effective in helping you catch more fish this spring and throughout the year. So there is four different kinds as far as sizes. The Pig Daddy, the Pig Mammy, the Bhutan, and the Pig Daddy Junior, which is the 2.2 inch. Uh, and that's the only one that does not have skin. They all have skin, but they're made a little differently, keeping them a little more soft. Um, let me just go ahead and start showing you. Here's what they look like. You'll get them in different jars. But you remember the old pork jars that would rust and stuff? I still have some. These are, are a plastic, and they have a nice little insert. So you have a nice little insert right there. And this is the little 2.2 2 .2 inch. Let that zoom in on that. And I believe this one is in brown or natural. You have to forgive me. But uh, I'm pretty sure that that is a, a brown. That is going to be a finesse jig killer right there, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to throwing these bad boys. I love that they, they come in this. So you can make your own little solution if you like. You know, some brine and, and add more water to keep, them, to keep them good and fresh. Let's check out another color here. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is another little 2.2 in red. And I'm going to make a mess, but it's uh, worth it to show you guys these. Man, let me get up here so you can see it. Let that focus in on it. You want to talk about soft. Man, they are soft. That is awesome stuff right there. A lot different than the other ones. I should, I should pull out some of the uh, old ones I still have plenty and uh, compare I'll do that on the water here in a couple weeks I can tell you this uh, it, it's stuff like this guys that that it gets you more bites when guys are throwing all the you know the plastics and whatnot and I do too but you, know, you go behind and throw something like this you know like a pork there's a reason why they caught fish so much that's another brown. Let's get in the, hold on one second. One more of these right here. I think this is a, like a more of a black or June bug. I got some June bugs, some purple I'm gonna show you too. And if you're not familiar with pork, when you pull these out, okay, of your jars, they might be all crumbled up. Pork is easy to mold. You can, you can get it right back to shape. It's not like plastics where you, if they get distorted, and the, the true shape is compromised, you can, uh, you know, you have to boil water or whatnot. But with pork, you can just go ahead and, and mold it with your hands and get it right. I can tell you right now, guys, I, this will be tied on uh, to, start the, to start the year here soon. Ooh, I like that black. You wanna talk about soft. Man, these are so much softer than the old school ones crazy I love that too they think of everything I tell you uh, I want to say the name is <coughs> excuse me Surikishi Japan import tackle guys excuse me that's where you you can get these at and they just got a big shipment in and they're not gonna last long so uh, make sure you check them out I'll leave a link in the description Get a little bit bigger size here. Okay, so you see how these are a little bit distorted? You can just take, straighten them out. There you have it, guys. 
that's the little bit bigger size that's the uh, 3.2 I want to say less than natural I'm hoping that that camera is going to zoom in on that oh you have to oh guys man these are I mean, a lot of guys have been waiting on these um, waiting on port to make a comeback and there's been a couple companies that's come out with some and they're, they're, there's nothing wrong with them um, but you've got straight up JDM quality right here brother you'll tell the difference when you get some you'll be able to tell oh here we go so if you like me and you fish uh you know maybe you fish uh, tidal waters or just darker waters these purples like this these june bug colored purples oh man that is awesome you want to talk about soft guys Yes, sir. Boy, they did a good job with these. You want to make sure you keep uh, plenty of water in your in your jars when you do get these, okay? Because they, like all, any pork, they will dry out. I am making a mess here, but it's it's all to show you these. So make sure that you are, you know, you're taking care of these. look at a little bit a different one here this is one that I've had look at the salt oh yeah I'm telling you guys man these look at that you tell me that ain't gonna kill them on a finesse jig it's in brown guys that is awesome man I love that color too and you can you can die tips on these things if you want to if you want to awesome Oop, I forgot to put the lid in see even myself these little caps they put in awesome awesome uh, idea keep these fresh you know for the most part you're going to fish pig, you know, fish these in colder water. It just seems like, um, uh, you know, port trailers go very well in, in cold water. One, they last longer in cold water. The heat really can, can get to uh, port trailers. But in that colder water jig bite, uh, like the jigs I showed you, uh, the water bull, some of these right here. Oh, yes, you'll be able to. And it's all about them fish getting that getting it in their mouth you know biting it and feeling that fleshy feel that makes them hold on a little bit longer because that's exactly what they feel like and it's pretty much what they are you know they're pork so they've got a they've got a meaty feel to them and the thing to think about is you see how flat they are okay so this is your cold water jig trailer right here guys when a, when a, when you do get a bite on these they will hold on to it they'll give you a little extra time to set the hook awesome design guys yeah i'm liking these a lot and i have made a mess the ones i had already I got out and was matching up some jigs with them and I'll do that in an upcoming video on the boat on the water I'll add a couple of these to some to some jigs I don't want to do that until I'm ready to fish they used to have these little covers that you could put your they might still have them where you could uh, after you put your pork on your uh, you know on your jig you could wrap it in this little cover and it would keep it moist and not let it dry out because that's the that's the kryptonite to these is is getting them to dry out so you want to keep them as moist as you can and keep them as keep them out of the sunlight one more look at this purple i'm gonna bring it in close let you guys see this i got some jigs already i'm gonna oh, i'm excited about these as you can tell you guys are 
tackle junkies like me, then you know, man, excited to get new products. I can tell you guys, if you get these, you're going to love them. The feel of them is perfect. They've got that alive feel. I did a great job with these. Man, excited about these right here. And I'm, and you know, jigs like we're, like on the last video, guys. Jigs are, you know, jigs year round, but especially the beginning of the year, you know, flipping and pitching a jig in the shallow cover. Oh man, it, it's that's when you can get your bigs. And I can and using a trailer like this, so when you get that bite. It gives you an extra second to set the hook to mean the difference in putting one in the boat or not. So they did a great job with these. I've got a, these are just a couple of uh, of the samples of the jars that they come in. Like I said, uh, Japan Import Tackle has them. Uh, as of I think yesterday they had some. They're gonna sell out quick. I can tell you as soon as the word gets out. Uh, they're gonna sell out quick so I'll leave a, like I said I'll leave a link in the description I'll show you a couple of these on some jigs here in a couple weeks thanks for taking a few minutes with me I just wanted to share this with you guys I hope you have a great rest of the week God bless and tight lines my friends